Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is Hassan Slim. So today we're gonna make a very interesting project using picture box and today we will also cover speed synthesizer whatever you want to whatever you want to play or the whatever you write it will be played or it will play that track so let's get started and I just go to form what I'm gonna do that I just place the two or three picture box and whenever I write on these correct uh, whenever I click on these characters they will speak their name just like if I am Nobita I am Doraemon and all that you um, you might be supposing why we are creating such kind of programs you can also make the game for the children just like that I place the button here I here I just change the text to A Alright, I now I just gonna change the size of the I think it's not enough. Uh, that's enough. Alright. I'm just gonna copy that. Alright, that's enough to for understanding. I just gonna change the text to B and it's to C alright now I just place the picture box over there now I just use the image local source import the image just I'm gonna I'm doing the same thing that we have done in the previous lecture I just select stretch image alright I just copy and paste it and change the image using import and nobita alright here I just place another image there is a cartoon like my friend named Johnny I'm just gonna import my favorite cartoon character Johnny yeah that's his Johnny <laughs> and I'm sure whenever he view this tutorial he's gonna kill me all right what are we gonna do I just go to the code section we will use speed synthesizer to to we will use speed synthesizer to create such kind of program then I have to add the reference of speed synthesizer I write there speed I have already selected the speed synthesizer you need to check it and press ok now here you need to add the reference here using system dot speech dot synthesizer ok now I am gonna create a synthesizer speed synthesizer I type the name ok obj I'm just type the uh, name of that is obj alright now I just double click on this I got a view code what I'm gonna do that whenever I click on the button named A it should speak A for Apple alright I just double click on that to add the reference in the code section here you can see I have just add all of the reference now I click on B I copy that control C and control V here I write 
B for bat, B for ball, whatever you wanna. Right, okay. Here I write. It's the button C named C. Now I write C for cat. Okay. When I start the program, I press on A. Why it's creating an error? Let me check. I need to create it properly. All right. Now I start the program. Press on A. A for apple. It's sound A for apple. B for ball. B for ball. C for cat. And C for cat. Now what I'm gonna do that? I'm just one that when I click on Doraemon it just speak I am Doraemon Doraemon alright and I just here's the other properties I just set the volume object dot volume into 100 object dot volume is equal to 100 all right by writing this line the uh, volume of your speakers or the device through which you are listening their voice will be in the volume of 100 all right whenever I click on Doraemon I am Doraemon I'm Doraemon if I now I'm doing the same thing over there I just copy that all right and now I am gonna set it to 50 and here I write Nobita I am Nobita I'm Nobita. There's a little bit difference in the sign uh, in the accent. Now I'm gonna click on that and just place over there. I just remove that. All right. And now what I'm gonna do? I just writing I am zigzag mental because my friend is mental. And I just wanna flesh him out from my life. Now when I <laughs> click on Jane, Johnny, I am zigzag mental. Oh, yeah. I think that the program is pretty much impressive and telling the truth what the actual character is. Whenever I clicked on no, I am Doraemon. It's uh, it's saying that I'm Doraemon. I am Nobita. I'm in Nobita, and that I am zigzag mental. I am zigzag mental. That means this program telling the truth. All right hope you understand now you can now you need to create the game for your home children's a for apple b for ball c for cat whatever a for apple b for bed b for ball c for c for cat yeah hope you enjoy this now i have already told you in the further lectures we are we will create such kind of amazing projects and through smaller to bigger Alright, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.